my mom was a working mom. And she went to, see, I was born um, six weeks before a big show called I Love Lucy went on the air. And she was starring in that, along with my father, of all people, who also was producing it. And um, so they were very busy. So I, I think from probably, you know, the age of birth up through seven, uh, they weren't home a lot, I would say, probably, you know, very late at night and weekends. And, and then we were fortunate to have some hiatus times, weekends off, and summers, summers off when uh, we had a house in Del Mar. And so, but she was a working mom. And when she was home, she was very business-like about running her house. I think because she was a, a working mom in the 50s, there probably was a lot of guilt involved in not being home with the kids because, right. you know, you're supposed to be, I guess. And, um, and, and she played a very funny person in her show, very crazy, outrageous person. And, and all uh, my friends used to think that my mother was really like that. But at home, of course, she wasn't like that at all. Uh, she's very responsible, took care of business. She um, worried a lot about her household, you know, and how the kids were being taken care of and whether the garage was being cleaned out and the homework was being done. And, uh, and she, she fashioned herself as a homemaker of sorts, like really enjoyed when she could get in the kitchen and make chicken and dumplings or something, but there wasn't a, lot of, there wasn't a whole lot of time for that. So but that, that was my earliest memory of my mother was that she worked. My mother got into show business when she was very young. Um, she left Jamestown, New York, where she was born, and she went to New York City, and she uh, tried to take acting lessons, and they sent her home. They said she had no talent, and her mother was wasting her money. And uh, she stayed in Jamestown a few more years and did little plays here and there, uh, but she was always acting out, always pretending, always putting on little plays in the backyard, much like me when I was a kid, actually. And uh, eventually, her mother said, oh, go, go on. You know you want to be in New York. Go back. And she helped her. She paid her way, and she became a model in New York. And one day, uh, after being a very good model for Hattie Carnegie and others, she, uh, she got a great break, and she took the place of somebody on the way to Hollywood who, whose mother wouldn't let them go to Hollywood. And she went with the Goldwyn girls and made a movie called Roman Scandals with Eddie Cantor. And she was only out of work 24 hours the rest of her life. My dad uh, was born in Santiago, Cuba, uh, in uh, 1917, and his father uh, was the mayor of the town. His uncle was the chief of police. You know, they, uh, his mother's family were the early founders of the Bacardi Rum Company, so he said they, used, they had that town pretty well wrapped up, he said, you know. Um, but then this big revolution came, not the Castro Revolution, but the uh, Batista revolution came in and overthrew the Machado administration, which his father was in, and uh, they, they lost everything. They lost their homes, uh, their livestock was killed, their pets were slaughtered, uh, they s crushed and burned the piano and all the family photos, and uh, my mother, my grandmother, his mother, hid with relatives, and my dad and his father escaped uh, with nothing to Miami, where they had to start over again basically from scratch. And he lived in Miami in a warehouse with grandpa and he killed rats with a bat, he said. It was rough and he cleaned uh, canary cages there for a while for a living and then eventually grandpa said, okay, 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 I know you play the guitar and I wanted you to be a doctor, a lawyer, somebody who could, you know, fend for himself but I guess you're gonna have to go get a job as a musician. So dad got a, mu a musician's job in a little band and eventually was discovered by Xavier Cugat and flown to New York. And then he left Kugi and uh, got a small band of his own down in Miami and actually introduced the conga dance to the United States out of desperation one night. And um, that really was his, uh, his ticket. He became quite famous for that and playing the conga drum and doing this conga dance and the conga line. And then he went back to New York uh, they named a club La Conga after him, and he played. He was playing at La Conga in New York when uh, Rodgers and Hart discovered him and George Abbott and asked him to be in a Broadway show called Too Many Girls, which ended up being the story of his life, I think, later <laughs> on. And um, it opened at the Imperial Theater in New York on uh, October, 
I don't remember when, it was, I can't remember when it opened. I used to know, but 39 anyway, 1939. And then they sent him to Hollywood uh, with the film when they made it into a movie. And it was in Hollywood where he met my mother who was cast to play the ingenue in the movie. I'm a really good uh, mix of both my mom and my dad, I think. Uh, I think I have my mother's responsibility. You know, she was a list maker and check off the list and get this done and, and uh, think ahead and very responsible. And um, I'm like that too, to a fault. And, um, but I have my dad's joie de vivre, uh, you know, which is the French word for <laughs> Cuban fun. <laughs> I, he always just had a love of life and a great sense of humor, twisted sense of humor, and, um, and his music. I, I have a lot of music in my life and I sort of turned to that later in life. And he, has a, he had a great business sense. I think I'm a pretty good business person, actually, because I think like he does. Uh, you know, if you don't know, ask, and uh, there are no stupid questions. Hire the right people, let them do their job. He used to also say, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything, which sounds ridiculous, but it's actually served me very well in my life. Um, he was very practical in that sense and, and a great lover of life and everything it had to offer.